feels like I cooled off significantly today. No heat wave, I guess. And what's going on today? So it's kind of interesting. I'd like to see more of these types of drones, actually, even for things like, just say, consumer use. Ones that can fly in the air and go in the water. How about this one? Apparently it's being, I guess, developed. It says here, this drone can fly, float, and roll to get around. New UAV can fly to remote bodies of water to monitor potential problems. Instead of one autonomous robot to fly, another to drive on land, and one more to navigate on water, a new hybrid drone can do all three. To carry out complex missions, scientists are increasingly experimenting with drones that can do more than just fly. The idea for a drone capable of navigating land, air, and sea came when researchers at New York University Abu Dhabi's Arabian Center for Climate and Environmental Sciences noted they would like a drone capable of flying out to potentially remote locations and sampling bodies of water, says study lead author Dimitrios Chikalis, a doctoral candidate in NYU Abu Dhabi. I know there are already drones that fly to various locations and collect things like tree samples, so again, they want to do, I guess, everything. It's that the new autonomous vehicle is a tricopter with three pairs of rotors for flight, three wheels for roaming on land, and two thrusters to help it move on water. The rubber wheels were 3D printed directly around the body of the main wheel frame, eliminating the need for metal screws and ball bearings, which would run the risk of rust after exposure to water. And according to this, it weighs 10 kilograms, then there will be, I guess, extreme challenges depending on what situation you're in. Air, land, and sea, it just completely changes, I guess, the dynamics of the situation. Although I'm just thinking, because with things like over-the-top regulations for drones, for example, what would you do in this case for licensing with that mindset that a lot of people have? When is it in the air? Oh, you need a quote, drone license. When is it in the land? Oh, you need a quote, driver's license. When you're in the water, I guess now you need a boating license of some sort. Wouldn't that be crazy? That's how the mentality is in many ways though when it comes to things like drone laws in my opinion. But either way, I guess it's good innovation and I like to see stuff like this more for an average individual too. Or is the law is gonna be too over the top for stuff like this? Imagine for these quote drones too in many ways, if you went underwater to gather samples, oh no, you went quote beyond visual line of sight. Isn't that crazy again when you think about it logically in terms of how a lot of the procedures and laws and all that, they just make no sense. And with that in mind actually with beyond visual line of sight, this was kind of interesting where there's apparently people who want to use drones for things like wildfires, but because of regulations, they're kind of stopped from doing so. This one says FAA bills would launch drones to fight wildfires. Unmanned aerial vehicles could aid firefighters, but many hurdles must be overcome, including rules requiring constant visual contact by operators. So I guess a lot of organizations trying to get change, which makes me think this is one of those situations where they created a problem and now they're trying to find a solution for it. That's what it sounds like in many ways. It says the provisions touch on a number of hurdles of the drone industry and aeronautical experts have been urging the federal government to fix, including current rules requiring operators to have their drones in sight at all times, limits on drones flying over federal lands and lack of test ranges for developing the technology. And there are even more issues outside the scope of the FAA reauthorization bill that advocates are hoping Congress and agencies will address, such as countering Chinese dominance in the drone industry and organizing how agencies coordinate with each other to regulate the complicated intersections of drones and wildland fires. Many states and local wildland firefighting units have already embraced drones to capture thermal images of landscape and even administer prescribed burns in remote areas. From the sounds of it too, this would be targeting specifically only people that would be using it for, let's just say, to fight wildfires and all that. But what was really fascinating is how in Canada, there was often that narrative of when it comes to safety, there's no such thing as overkill from Mr. Nightmare Scenario, if you guys remember this. And they say here, in some cases, the rule made in the name of safety does more harm than good for wildfire emergency response, he added. If I'm in downtown LA and I'm flying a drone two miles away, that could potentially be a problem, Sloan said. If I'm out in the middle of the desert and all we've got out there is wildfire response efforts, then we know where everybody is. Ultimately, they're kind of saying the exact same thing as any average individual, for example, using basic logic and common sense would say, this stuff makes no sense. It seems like it was just invented per se, say, oh, in the name of quote safety, but it's not practical when you think about it. 
Will this get changed? I guess likely it will, but I guess the unfortunate thing is kind of like what this implies here will be just for people fighting things like wildfire. In my opinion, it should be across the board where this stuff doesn't make sense in practicality in many ways. And then I quickly saw this, which looked like it was a drone light show. It's just kind of interesting to see what people are trying to do nowadays. You see that one with the dragon, I don't think this is as impressive, but apparently it was in a baseball game, the Seattle Mariners, according to this. And it is what it is. Can you imagine more stuff like this, I guess, being shown during pre-game shows or post-game shows? Do you actually enjoy stuff like this too? Or do you prefer, like in this case, huge fireworks instead? See you guys later.